We're returning to Skyward Sword as part of the whole me playing through every single Zelda game thing. So this is going to be interesting. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'll I'll do my best, yeah. I'll tell you one thing. I'm glad I can put the hair dryer away. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. I'm ready. So, if I get stuck, audio is loud, okay, I, I thought as much. Down it goes to negative eight, that's probably better. Thanks for letting me know. Nintendo games, I don't know why, they, they just sometimes can have a habit of being super loud. It's only the Switch that does this. The PS5, I never have to dick around with volume. So, okay. Yeah, if I if I get stuck, I'm looking up guides. I've already done my blind playthrough of this. We're not gonna waste time. If I get lost, I mean really lost, I will accept guidance and I will accept backseating. This is probably the only time you'll hear me say this. Because I think the point of this is just to re-experience it, but also from the point of view where it's difficult gameplay, so. Rise, Link. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Link. I only remember one part where you had to look it up for me. I don't remember what it was, but it was something that was very, very annoying. Um, I didn't get all the heart containers the first time I played, so let's just try and do it this time. Again, I don't mind backseating this time. If I miss something obvious, tell me. I've gone through the blind playthrough, so we're fine. Did I get stuck in a ca- I, I remember it happened on the Goron area, so probably. Hey sleepyhead, I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Link. Today is the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? You better not keep me waiting, Zelda. I feel like the whole Death Mountain part was definitely... Something that I kept going up and down. Anyway. Oh my god, 60 FPS. I, I've almost forgotten how this feels like. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. Morning, Link. So today is the wing ceremony, you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is out practicing in the plaza, but you seem to be pretty relaxed about the whole thing. 
Of course, that crimson loft wing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident riding him too. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think I could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, you know? So, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see Phil. You're in Farron Lords, you wish you were getting 20 FPS. <laughs> yeah. I mean... The switch and its power, that's, that's about it. Good morning, Link. Today is the big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I, I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels. Yeah. And then I have to... Didn't I have to help move the barrels? Where in the clouds is that Fledge boy? He's supposed to be bringing me the barrels. Sometimes I don't know what's going on in that boy's head. Oh, you know what? In hero mode, there's meant to be less stamina as well. So, I guess we'll see. All this, I thought I told Fledge to carry that. Bah, it's probably for the best. That skinny boy would have gotten flattened. Say, then you have some important ceremony or something. Hmm, well, thanks for the help. You know, something just occurred to me. Wasn't there a way to convert your save data over to hero mode? Maybe I should have done that instead of start a fresh one. Oh well. I think I'm not going to have any money or resources, and that might be a problem. This music, though. Target to talk to them. Isn't that just. Hey! <laughs> Up here, oh, now you're going to tell me? Ew. Good morning to you. I'm impressed with your decision to test your resolve in hero mode. Oh, but today is the day of the long awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Target me. That's what I was doing. Oh, it didn't register until now. Excellent. As always. Remember, you can target someone to talk to them. You're looking at me like you already know all this. There's no harm in going over the basics, you know. In hero mode, you'll lose hearts twice as fast, so it's doubly important to know how to effectively target. It's also a little silly to carry on a conversation from a distance, so why don't you join me up here? You should be able to climb up if you dash to the top of that wooden box, don't you think? Okay. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. We'll see. I don't know how confident I'll feel that I'll get through this, but I'll do my best. <laughs> okay, so what are you up to? Rushing to get some last-minute bird riding practice in this morning, Link? Oh, you have someone to meet. Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gapora, has a pet named Mia. And, well, she scampered off again. Look. Look over there. Do you see her? 
The headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start. I just put on a fresh set of clothes. Well, you see. Will you help me go retrieve Mia for me? On it. I have to get used to using motion controls, so, you know. Fantastic, you'll do it. I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking your time to help. You should be able to climb up over there if you hang off the ledge over there and climb on the roof from the other side. Terribly sorry. I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. Oh, you know what? This is good. This is gonna be training for Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I mean, sort of. Oh, you know what I just noticed? I start with six hearts already. You don't start with six in the original, right? Oh man, I remember everyone just going ballistic for this thing. <laughs> just... Every time I would pick this thing up. Nice work, you brought a rack safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, Link. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. Yeah, I mean... I believe Zelda's there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh yes, I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please take this. I mean... The thing is, it's effectively the same amount of health, it's just because things do twice as much damage. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> if you wanna see me read everything, watch the original playthrough. Just listen to the song. I can skip cutscenes. Yeah, I mean, I know I can, but should I? Is the answer is the question. Because to some people, this will be me playing the game for them for the first time, so I don't know. Good morning. I'm glad to see my loft one got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess is. Goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it and he says it's called a harp. <laughs> and look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Link. So how do I look? Ah, I think so too, but it's nice that you agree. Thanks. Ooh. Yeah, you're right. Link's face just doesn't look right, right in this. <laughs> ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, father. Ah, Link. You're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. 
No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. Guess about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Link hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't, oh, yeah, well, he's gonna... No need to worry yourself. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony to test the skills of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. And as he pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Link and his Lothwings share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you'll recall. Ah, but that first meeting between Lenk and his loft wing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson loft wing. It is a breed so rare, we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Link and that Lothwing first met? Oh, what a sight. The little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed of you either, my dear. I'm paraphrasing a little bit. <laughs> it's also a time zone shift, so it's earlier than what it is, usually. Ah, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Link and his bird. Anyone who is part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. Hoo <laughs> hoo. Okay, I mean, it's later for everyone else, it's earlier for me. Let's, let me point that out. So, it's one of these things that I think it sucks when I start, but then later on, because I can be up later, it's better. I think that's how it works. But yes, you know, tuning in at the start of the stream is basically, uh... The dead hours for Americans now, so... <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Lank doesn't fly fast enough during the race... What if Link messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Ooh. Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Link. Hey! Listen, Link. You'd better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice before the race. <sighs> Come on. You'll thank me later. Here we are. Go on, jump off the ledge and call your loft wing. Almost time for the ceremony, so try practice seriously. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it, you're trying to weasel out of trying to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go! Hey. Okay, Link, go ahead. Press down and call your loft wing. And Link is dead. Mm hmm. His bed sure is a long time. Sure is taking a long time to get there. Something's wrong.
Hang in there, Link. I got you. Are you two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is very odd, Link. What could have happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of its master, it's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Link? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Link, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. And I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. The wrist straps on, um, the Joy-Cons that come with the OLED Switch, they're much fancier. Ooh. I, I didn't have them open. I had them in the box still. So I had to go get them out. Anyway. My, how did it get so late? If I recall correctly, this instructor, Horwell, is presiding over that ceremony. Link, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so you can find your bird. I beef Phantom Hourglass. I beef Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Ugh, Spirit Tracks. The father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Link gets... Ask Instructor... Uh, if Link ask Instructor Horwell... He'll probably just come talk to you about it. Alright, whatever. Quite true, as usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well, I'll explain the situation to him myself. Run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Yeah, should have believed me. I got lost there for a sec. So the stamina definitely runs out a lot quicker from what I could see. Yo. What's wrong, Link? You're looking a little pale. What? Your loft wing is missing. How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now. How will you make it back in time to fly in the ceremony? It looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on a feather. Wait, hinges on feather or not, if you can find that bird. Was that just meant to be a pun? Ahem, <clears throat> excuse me. I see, so the headmaster has summoned me. Alright then, I'll go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. something wrong? What's the big hurry? Your loftwing is missing. But I just saw him. Goose's bird was chasing... Which way? I think I know where. I don't really know where they went. Okay. Yeah, no, that's... Imagine just saying no. So, oh man. She just shoves you off a cliff. I wonder how the stamina thing is gonna work. <laughs> Some areas I remember where stamina was uh was a luxury. <laughs> Particularly when running up hills. Oh. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Right. I gotta get used to my- I'm playing with motion controls. Because the sword fighting parts, when I played this the first time, uh, they were not fun. Okay, I just ended up back here. Well, that was, uh, that was a waste of time. I know the dude kidnapped him, but I honestly forget where it was taken. Oh, the gates are open this way. Right. I mean, everything's pretty much set in stone when it comes to this game, so I don't know. You know, Gruce, that was such a pain with all the scratching and pecking. <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson laughing like that was going to go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <laughs> Giga Chad, more like Giga Fuckwit. <laughs> oh, well. Just how long have you been standing there? What's your problem anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, oh, Gruce. Can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win. So you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Grease doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds? Nice hair. You lay off my do right now or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. Doesn't change the fact that you can- that you float through life with your head in the clouds. So this dude's jealous that I have friends. Yep. Yep. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just, who might you be talking about, Gruce? Oh, Zelda, hey. Nah, it's, uh... Don't even try it, Gruce. You're picking Link again. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you, uh... Forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? <laughs> okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Link. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out on today's race. That could be a major setback toward knighthood, so find that bird, or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. Yeah, and your special flavor is cock. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Lothwing's disappearance. Link, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we'd better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he'd talk to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird in time.
Dude's like Biff Tannum, basically. Wait, Zelda in this game isn't cute. I mean, to each their own. Also, this was a Wii game, so you know. It's consistent with the art style. Wait, where did Hoel go? Link's face is uh, definitely... There's something wrong with it. <laughs> I can't put my finger on it. But there's definitely something wrong with it. upstairs. <laughs> you guys are like talking about teenagers, you know that, right? Like, I think the oldest Zelda gets in these games is 16, so yeah, you keep, you keep talking. <laughs> teenagers are awful. Oh, man. Yeah, there we go. Okay, he's not here. I mean, I played this two years ago, so you know. Okay, they're both in here. The start of the wing ceremony. Anyway, let's ditch the topic before it enters Yikes territory, please. Thank you. The start of the wing ceremony is delayed until you find your love wing. Good news, isn't it? Hmm. Have you managed to find your love wing yet? Gruce had a hand in your bird's disappearance. I tell you, that boy is always up to trouble. Headmaster, if that is true, then all the better. Gruce has made it much easier to delay the start of the race. I doubt even Gruce will have the goal to complain openly, considering it's his fault. We have to delay the race in the first place. I see, he has painted himself into a bit of a corner, hasn't he? Well, it's settled then. Don't worry about the race starting without you. Take your time, you need to find your left wing. I don't know, I just... I feel like... Where's the hat? There is no hat yet. It's the start of the game. There's a lot of games where you don't get your hero outfit until you do the opening sequence thing. Isn't that my Lothwing flying up there? Need to talk to people. Seem to be in a hurry. What's this about a bird or the unusual crimson crim crim laughing? Haven't seen him. By the statue of the goddess. Okay. <laughs> I stayed away from this game initially just because of the motion controls, but. After playing it with a standard controller, I would see, yeah. It makes sense. It's just the sword fighting part. Flicking the analog stick just doesn't work well. How was the end of the last game? Horrible. 
<laughs> I'm not being facetious, it was genuinely bad. Hey, Link. Over here. I have some information about your Lothwing. Come over here. But I had a lot of fun, yeah. It was it, it wasn't it wasn't the story. It wasn't looking for hearts. I found all the hearts and it was great. It was just the the mechanics of that game involved using the microphone. And you had to play a song every time you hit a major area, and for the final fight it made you play this song that was just stupidly hard to pull off. One, it gives you a short window and you have to get it right four times in a row. And two, the notes just don't register properly. When you blow into the microphone into the 3DS, it just doesn't work properly. So I was using a hairdryer for the entirety of that playthrough. Every time I had to blow into the microphone in that game, I had a hairdryer in my right hand. I was there for 20 minutes. I was there for 20 minutes trying to do that song. And then the end of the fight was like very anticlimactic. So... Spirit Tracks, when you're doing the dungeons, it's fun. Outside of that, it's it's a flawed game. It's just one of these things where they should have just let things be on buttons. Just make it a button. Why does it have to be microphone for literally everything? Anyway. It's it's definitely the weakest Zelda game, for sure. As as a result. Anyway, I was looking for you. I heard your laughing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, while I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Aww. I'm sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out, I told you. Sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. <sighs> A little while ago, while I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there, and started talking about their plan to hide your Loftwing. I wanted to warn you, Link, but just as I tried to sneak away, Groose and his gang grabbed me. They said if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird again. It sounds like Groose and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird, and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's, that's where I was going. Okay. Yeah. It, can I? What? 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 If you guys remember, there are some dangerous things there. Okay. Go get a sword. Right. Okay. Um. I mean, that was the thing with the the Wii and the original DS was just the Wii. Everything had to have motion controls when it didn't need to have motion controls. And the DS was everything had to involve the touchscreen or the microphone or both. And by the end of both of those systems, it kind of got old and then they moved away from it. So I think the problem with Spirit Tracks as a whole is just it tried to be what Majora's Mask was to, uh, to Ocarina, but it just it didn't stick the landing. Hey, it's Link. So you still want to get in some sword practice, even though today is the wing ceremony. I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go back there and get it. I'm also using motion controls for this because just, yeah. I think for this game you have to. Some of the fights, it's just too hard to do it otherwise. It's okay. Every single game from here on out is just going to be like a standard Zelda game. There's not going to be too many gimmicks. You want to learn about how to use a sword? Yes. Okay. If you swing it vertically, you do a vertical slash. If you swing a side, you do a side slash. Thrust it forward for a thrust. Here's a more advanced technique. Spin. Okay. Ooh. 
No more fishing. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay. Hang on, I need to center it. Oh, it's like that. There we go. I actually have to do it in the area. I have to get used to this gyro aim and then this thrust. Okay. Spin attack. Okay. No! Oh! Because there's no motion, Wii motion bar. Okay. I think I have to sit differently. Switch. Yeah, this is Skyward Sword HD, so it's the HD remaster. Forgot how to do the, the spin. I thought it's usually like a Joy-Con gesture, but... Damn. Spin attack. Flick both Joy-Con controllers. Oh, like that, right. This is also hero mode, so, like, things are going to do twice as much damage. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. It's just... Wildly inaccurate. <laughs> okay, are you ready to try a spin attack? Yes! Just do it. There we go. Alright, here we go. Okay, and um... then... Okay. That sure looked like it felt good. Why don't you try a fatal blow? Alright, when your enemy is down, target it with ZL and throw yourself to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log, and when it's down, try to finish it off. Wait, and then... Shake it? No, look like that. Okay, got it. That's the way. It's both controllers. Fatal blow is also effective... To move, effective move to use right after you've used your shield. The monsters don't stay down, so you have to land that fatal blow quickly. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, I would say, like, getting it correct. I think it's just, it's gonna take some getting used to, but I think once I get used to it, it's, de it's definitely less of a mindfuck than flicking the sticks. Like, because it's. These logs don't represent real enemies, so these have specific hitboxes, but on enemies it should be fine. It's a bit easier. Okay. I think we're done. Hey! Hey, Link. Can't take the swords outside of- what do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? I want it. What? Your Luffung is missing. You want to look for it. Well, I guess I can make an exception, but remember, Skylop is a P4. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to swing it around. Okay. <laughs> hey, Nick. Dude, thank you so much. Four years, man. That's four years of subs. 
Thank you so much. How's it going? Jeez. That's a long time. Okay. Put it away. Alright. Just popped up before your lunch. Nice. Yeah. I'm enjoying the Sunday. I got to sleep quite a bit more because of our daylight savings ending, so. The time zone is back an hour, which means it aligns up a little bit better for Europeans. There's fencing. I forgot how to get across this. I can't wait for the part where all the cats are running around and chat's just like, pick up the cat, pet the cat, pet the cat. Did you hear the news? One of the students in the wing ceremonies lost his bird. Oh, really? That's terrible. Get out of the way! Is there a cat? Yes, you'll see. Once this opening sequence is done, just... Every, every time I played this game, I had to go. They're just not around at the moment. Unfortunately, those cats, they're like, almost like werewolves to some degree. So they're nice and cute during the day, but at night time, uh, they are not cute. They hurt. And you have no choice but to hit them. So that's the part where chat took issue, where it's like, well, then, if I don't attack them, they're going to hurt me too much. And I think it's going to matter even more here because of hero mode. Does petting the cat give a heart piece? No, I thought it would. I thought gav I spent, I think, 30 minutes gathering them. Thinking, oh no, this is a heart piece here. It's not. But yeah, with with this playthrough, I'm gonna say it again because I set it at the start of the stream. I don't mind backseating on this one because I've already played through the game once, and in the interest of getting through this. I don't mind, like, if I've missed something really important that people pointed out. I don't mind. This time. I forgot to grab. No, but this is with motion controls. It's not joystick. I think I'm just not high enough. Yeah, this is also going to be a problem, is, like, the centering of this camera thing. Anyway. The bug's gone now. I did want to get it. Skip the petting because no heart piece. I'll do it once. liked about these games. Lift is, Link is a... He lifts his sword up in a, in a pretty good way, but he's also a lefty. <laughs> I'll 
what's wrong with being a lefty? Nothing, I'm a lefty. <laughs> I'm saying I like that Link as a lefty. Ambidextrous? No, because what they did with the Wii was specifically for the Wii. But canonically, he is left-hander. Because of where uh, the imprint is on his hand. Um, and this is acknowledged by the fact that Twilight Princess HD uh, uses the GameCube version of the game. Which, he's a lefty in that. It was just the Wii version where he was right-handed. But, when they did the HD remake, remaster, whatever you want to call it, uh, they chose the GameCube version. Because he is left-handed in that one. Hey Link, I was hoping to find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around to help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your left wing? Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope. There's a place up ahead that Grace and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe I'll find something there. Huh? Who's that? Wait, why would you be sad that you're right-handed? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, Link. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Oh, right. That's my old file. I guess I should do that one. Because you're a creative, and that means you weren't born to be a creative. I mean, that's not necessarily true. I don't believe in putting people in boxes, and it's one of those things that it's a law of averages, where on average, yeah, that might be true, but an average means average. There are exceptions to the rule. Look, there he is. You're relieved you're right-handed, always felt sorry for left-handers at school when they had to use scissors. Yeah. Using scissors as a lefty sucks. Uh, writing as a lefty sucks because you smear pages. And a lot of stuff isn't made for left-handers, so it does suck. And if you're a boomer, or older, uh, the once upon a time, they thought that left-handed people, or there was a group of people that thought lefties were like the result of the devil or something like that. So, you know. They forced you to use your right hand. Oh, the rope. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I saw. I'm brute forcing this. Yeah, the evil twin thing, that's another one. This is much easier, by the way. Like, already. Already this is much easier, compared to the flicking. I struggled with the flicking and having to do um, combat really quickly at the correct angle. Like, it sucked. So this is a case where using the mechanic the way it was originally intended makes sense. And the Joy-Cons are way more accurate than the Wii remote ever was, so I think... I think this is gonna be good. I'm a little bit tired, chat. <laughs> so, it's okay. We should hurry. Alright. But yes, whenever I, I feel... Like I'm hitting a bit of a brick wall, just say it. Before you go, I have to ask you something. I heard this voice a few moments ago, did you hear it too? That's why you're replaying Metroid using motion controls. I think that would be fun too. If they do a remaster of Prime 3, I'll definitely play it that way. It's been happening a lot lately, it's a strange feeling, almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing 
at all down below, but I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under Skyloth. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday I want to see it for myself. <laughs> oh, sorry, Link. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look at your look. Your bird's waiting for you. Just sleep off. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. It, it, it's just there's something about the, the shadow on his face. It just makes it look weird. I don't know why. It's the nose, a little bit, and the eyes. It's the whole face! Oh, you, you're laughing at how I say surface? Oh, do you want me to say surface instead? Or however the fuck Americans say it? Oh no, it's motion controls for the bird as well. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. You don't notice the accent? That's because you're Australian. So you understand it a bit better. We have the same accent. To some degree. I mean, my accent is like the result of living in Australia all my life, but also learning Spanish first. I think the flying... Change. Oh, charge. There we go. Okay. No, there we go. There we go. Got it. All right. Say surface. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't dare do an American accent because it, it tends to be southern a lot of the time. And for some reason, I can't keep my voice as deep either. I don't know why. Anyway. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you. But your Luffling looks like he's flying great. My father and I. Oh, and the others are probably worried about your birds, so let's give them the good news. I, pro I promise I'm not dyslexic, I I'm just tired <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I can make the bird flying use standard controls, but then keep everything else motion. Well, well, if it isn't Link. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start and they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flag gets special treatment? <laughs> You're almost a man and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, eh? And don't think we haven't noticed the smug look. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Okay, I probably, I probably shouldn't yell. Grus has been going on forever about how he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour in a ruffle about her. Duh. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today is the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim the, that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way I was going to let some scrawny cloth snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth Zelda's sailcloth will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking all about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First I win the big race, then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. 
It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our special moment. Oh, it's so real. I can I can see it. <laughs> oh yeah. Grease. Psst, grease. Behind you. Right behind you. What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of a... <gasps> Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> uh, nothing big, really. Just... just. Link, I, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy. I'm looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later Zelda, look for me during the race. It'll, I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Bruce didn't deserve his redemption arc. Yeah, I mean... The thing is... I'm a firm believer that there, there are people that can change. I believe that can happen. However, sometimes it's just a case of just because someone does one thing nice or one good thing, it doesn't change the fact that they're a dick 99% of the time. So, that's how I feel about Groose. Did you hear that guy, a fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Link. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down I think you do too. Who is Groose? Bully. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Link. He's actually Ganon. I mean... Kind of implied. Is he Gary to the Ash? Uh... I think Gary's less of a dickhead. And that says something. Your attention, please. At least we, uh, at last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. Chat, you know why I'm so tired is because I woke up earlier than I needed to because of daylight savings, and then I went back to sleep. But also last night for April Fools, I did. Uh, I was playing WarioWare Gold, and I did the Warrior voice for like two and a half hours straight. So it did tire my voice uh, just a little bit. I woke up and I was like, oh man, okay. I guess that's my limit. Okay. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Link, but luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. Any regrets? No regrets at all. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the edge. Once you are in the air, Mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think. Mm. You remember when you were eight, you named Gary Poohhead and thought it was the funniest thing in the world? <laughs> yeah, I mean... That guy, as you know, today's champion. But, okay, this is the way that I see it. Um, Gary was, like, just annoying. But at the very least, on a, on some level, you could get along with him. But then the, uh, the rival that they had in gold and silver, that guy was just... Or, I don't know if it was a guy or a girl, but, like, that person was just, just a straight-up dickhead. <laughs> like, there was no redeeming quality in that character. It was just, that was their character. The rival in gold. The rival in gold wasn't Gary. That was red and blue. So like in red and blue, that's where Gary is. In gold and, and silver, it's something else. I, I don't know the anime equivalent, but you know. Anyway. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. You're sorry you told us the story from 20 years ago wrong. I'm sorry. I thought you were a Pokemon master. 
I, I thought Pokemon Masters know who Gary is. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it's also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his, his gift atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by the lovely Zelda. <laughs> Let's see how fine is flying out there. Show me how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, Grease. Alright, gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Are you my rival? I, I don't believe in rivals. That just comes from a place of, like, focusing too much on what others are doing. Just do your own thing. Use motion controls for aiming, use motion controls for the camera. Is there a use motion controls for... Maybe when I'm on the bird. Okay, hold on. Options. Nah, it's the same. Okay. I just gotta get used to it. Alright, that's fine. It's fine. I don't know if I'm flying correctly. They seem to be just not moving. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. Like that. Yeah, okay. Got it. Took some getting used to. <laughs> hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? <laughs> Dick. Egg on my face, okay. The other thing about hero mode is I can't heal. There's no way to heal. <laughs> Unless I get a, a heart medallion, so... Someone do me a favor and look up how to acquire this heart medallion and when. Because that is going to be the single most important item through this. <laughs> Otherwise, no hearts appear. Ever. Hey! Oh, what is with... Stupid motion controls. Don't you just buy it from the chick? I don't know. I don't remember. That's what I'm saying. Look it up. What is, or if you know it, tell me. It might be something simple, but I don't remember that simple thing. It's been two years. Pretty sure I'm just holding it wrong. I don't know. I've used the recentering option a few times. It just seems to do that constantly. I don't know why. I am holding the controller is perfectly straight right now. Okay. 
Okay, you know what? This is taking too long. I'm turning them off temporarily. Oh my god, that's so much better. I might just have to swap it back for the flying sections, because I'm just... Wait, even this is wrong. No, the motion controls are off. What am I doing wrong? I see that. That works. Okay. I just gotta get used to it again. Steering is definitely easier. Like, it's already way better. It's just... Oh, it's not inverted on the analog stick. That's what's wrong. Okay, got it. I'm used to inverted controls when it comes to flying. Okay. It's not inverted. There we go. Alright, problem solved. That may have been the problem on the motion controls as well. I was assuming it was inverted. It's not. Cruise of victory. Yeah, okay. So I think that's all it was. It was just inverted controls. Blank. What's that, Kira? Don't worry, I'm fine. Great flying, Link. Congratulations. Now we'd better get on with the ceremony. I'm gonna open my bottle of water. Mm. I think the next time I choose to do the warrior impression for two whole hours, I need to have more water. Hand me that bird statue you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. It's waifu Zelda. Oh, let's let's not talk about Zelda. It appears to be a point of contention, like whether or not she looks cute. But I'll I'll remind people it's like that they're, they're teenagers, so unless you're a teenager yourself, I don't know man. It's a bit creepy. Let's just agree she's eighteen, but she's not. Look it up. Great goddess guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during the ceremony. Valiant youth who grasps victory Uh, at the celebration of the bird folk. In accordance with the old ways. I just looked it up. She's 17. So, there you go. This is coming... The game doesn't say it, but there are books that Nintendo has printed on lore about all of these games. So, let's... Please don't be pedantic. It's it's known that pretty much in every game they're teenagers. Or younger. I bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. <laughs> the blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail which are now past you isn't child link in ocarina of time eight canonically yeah again just because the game doesn't say it nintendo has written a bunch of books that talk about zelda lore in fact i have one in the other room i could pull it out 
and just go flip to a page and look at the ages and everything. Like, it talks about that stuff in detail. It smells nice too. Link, please. I'm just talking about this. Stop. Stop. <sighs> Quick goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say the goddess gave the sailcloth to a chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making the sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Lank. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? <laughs> Eight-year-old Link made you feel inadequate as a child? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean... They're not humans, they're humanoids, so... Just... A result of not being human, I guess. Now, I really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Oh, yeah, right. I, I turned off motion controls temporarily. No? Really? I thought you would have figured it out by now. <laughs> you have to jump off the statue. Look down there. See that big round design on the courtyard below? Finish the ceremony. You need to drop right into the center of it. Let's leap off, uh, leap off the edge, and right before you drop, set off. Definitely don't expect a rant. It wasn't really a rant. It's also in reference to earlier, like I don't know, people are just talking weird shit about a, an animated character. I'm like, dude. It's it's a it's a 3D model of a teenager. Calm calm down. I just didn't want to start that again. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your sailcloth. So, ready to jump? <laughs> if I was ranting, you would know. <laughs> uh, hold on. Turn them back on. Okay, that's centered. It wasn't at the center. <sighs> what? Yeah. Jesus Christ, Link. It's tilt, it's tilt as well. It's tilt as well. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Yeah. It's not going to matter for the rest of the game, it's just this part specifically I need to... Okay, that's center. Got it. Ask me for advice. <laughs> Doesn't exist yet, but... That was perfect, you're amazing, Link. I do like that one of the major changes of this from the original version was just making Fee less annoying. You know, Link, seeing as you won today, and with the weather being so nice, you think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Who's fee? Don't worry about it yet. You'll know when we get up to it. She doesn't exist yet. Hey, Link. Today was amazing, watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> mm. 
you know, like... There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What is that? What's going on? Thank. I'm I'm not I'm not straining my voice. <laughs> Link. Uh, also, I know you did a redeem, but I'm not doing the warrior voice stuff today. So I'll refund that. I did it for two and a half hours yesterday, and it, it's tired my voice, so I don't want to... I don't want to do anything else with it. I'm waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are a vital... To a mission of great importance. Link. If you want to see me do the warrior voice, go watch yesterday's VOD. You'll see it, see me do it for two and a half hours. Be in character for two and a half hours. Ah, you're awake. Ooh. When your Lothwin carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. I think the thing with, with its face is just, it's trying to match the art style of the game. And I think that's the thing, is like on objects and uh, on everything else it looks fine. But I think on the characters, particularly Link, it just has this weird shading. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries, so that we can be grateful. But Link, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? At regular angles, his upper lip is bigger than his lower lip, which looks off. Yeah. What's happened to my daughter? Also, Link explaining something. <laughs> Isn't that a trend? What, lips being weird? A black tornado, you say? Hmm. That was no ordinary storm. <laughs> must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything seem off? I see. She was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between those things. I'm concerned for Zelda. But so long as she's with her Lothwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has just arrived. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. This is one of the Zelda games you've never played. It's not bad. I don't mind it. I think the dungeons are very good. But if you do play it, motion controls is recommended. That's from someone that played without it the first time. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive, I know it. So I'm doing hero mode at the moment, which I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we'll see. I think it's a good remaster. 
I mean, the fact that this is a Switch game running at 60 FPS is kind of... I think the cats appear after this section, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Pet the cat. I'll I'll do it once. Okay, so this is what I'm remembering is going down this way. I think I might get this while I'm here so I don't have to come back for it. Honestly, I don't, I don't know how healing works in hero mode, so, you know, it's going to be a little problematic. Oh shit, wait, no, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> And there's less stamina as well. That's the other thing. the only downside to this version and it's just because it's not the same it's just i found that i had to recenter the, the alignment of the motion quite a bit so you have to remain pointed at the screen otherwise it, it loses itself like if i put my hands down for a little bit to rest them I'd have to realign. It is a nice looking game. chosen by my creator, I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you my personal designation. B is the name I was given. I was created for a single person, a uh, purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Link. You must take up the sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertain surroundings, the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, 
allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a higher probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. And this spirit maiden, the one you called Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? <laughs> it seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. I wonder what that meant. Like, let's, let's say Link said no. What would that entail? That almost seems like a threat. <laughs> In the name of the creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Oh no. Motion control. Okay, hang on. Hang on. It's like... And then up. There we go. Ooh, this is a little janky. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword in is bathed in divine light. The memories of violent battles surge within this sword when you raise it to the sky. Your Skyward Strike is now at maximum strength. Recognition complete. Master. Link, my master. I mean, fear is a manifestation of the spirit or the sword, so you can choose to believe what you want to believe. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it has foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago, the sword that I have kept secret all these years. It began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the Blade One who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of Apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. B is your spirit animal. Why? Because pointing out inadequacies in uh, retaining knowledge. 
Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, the Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. Emerald tablet, okay. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Okay, and then up. Ooh. Hold on. This is this is a little bit clunk clunky to get it to register true north. Okay, hold up. Realigning it. Okay. Up. Yeah, this is the problem with motion controls. <laughs> I think for general gameplay it's going to be fine. For this, it might still be easier to do it with a button. Okay, hold on. There we go. I'll need to practice it. I'll get used to it. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you go. Okay, there's the guide. Ooh. Link, listen for a moment. The nature of the Great Apocalypse mentioned in the old texts is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this fee says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link, especially down there. But if you decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legends true. You do your people proud, Link. Link. <laughs> Link. Link. 
Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. <laughs> There we go. I mean, Twilight Princess Link still looks the best. Mm. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as if you were born to wear it. Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I'll return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Link. So priorities are going to be getting potion <laughs> and the heart medallion thing. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. Okay, cool. It's an adventurous pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all sorts of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You could buy some potions and a shield. They fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Um, also, correct me if I'm wrong, but the sword training game, I feel like there was an item that you would get, and I remember that I didn't get it until the very end, and I regretted it. I think the sword has training things that are important that I should do early on. No. I've had news, Link. Zelda has fallen through the clouds, and you're going to look for her, is that right? So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. Okay, there we go. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of the shields, so keep that in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip a shield, hold R and select the shield you want to use, then let go of R. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I remember I should do that. But then, oh, but see, that's pouch as well. Okay. Mm. Link, the headmaster told me about Zelda. Poor girl, I'm worried about her. Now, I don't know all the details of what's going on here, but that sword you're carrying isn't from Skyloft. It's an ancient artifact that can only be carried by the Chosen One. And since you happen to be the one carrying it, I guess I can figure out a lot of the rest of this crazy story. You know, Link, I just wish there was more I could do for you. But I can offer this as a parting gift. Get ready to learn some new moves. It's time to learn the secrets of defense. First, start with the basics. When you're worried about defense, take your shield out. Simple stuff, I know. But you need to review the basics. Lower your shield. To lower your shield, swing your sword or press B to put your sword and shield away entirely. Just be careful when trying to attack while on the defense. Every time you swing your sword, you move your shield out of the way, lowering your guard. Why don't you try it first? 
Mm. Ready to talk more about the secrets of defense? Practical stuff. Practical stuff, okay. Ready your shield right before an enemy attacks you. The force will repel. This technique is called the shield bash, and it will make an enemy recoil, giving you an opening to attack. This technique is very useful against enemies who throw weapons at you or refuse to give you an opening for attack. In a real battle, pulling off a defensive shield maneuver requires perfect timing. Believe me, you don't want to miss. Defense practice log. Sweet. Oh yeah, I like that. And then... Okay. Faye plays. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay, good enough. Ready to talk more about the secrets of defense? Um, I think for now we're done. I think maybe later a minigame opens up here, so I'll keep it in mind. This is going off vague recollection again, because it's, it's been a while. Oh, before I... Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light that created it. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword would result in decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase shield and potions. Yeah, I'm going to do the potion thing for sure. I forgot how you catch bugs. Maybe I can't do it yet, but... I can later, okay. And you're saying the heart medallion's here somewhere. What's this? What is it my eyes behold? Oh, young man, what a calamitous vision appears before me. You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous, thorny road ahead for you. But I can foresee what'll befall you. I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. It's the ugly baby from Twilight Princess. <laughs> but, you know what? Yeah. Looks very similar, but the game is set before Twilight Princess. Also, is it just me or is the frame rate weird with um, the blinking? Like, it doesn't seem... It almost seems like it's lagging. Is it just me? Or is the blinking not 60 FPS? Anyway. Welcome to the item check. Oh, I remember the item check. Uh, no, I'm good. Five out of ten game. There's no, uh, 60 FPS blinking. Hey there. Yes, you there. Yes, you, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. Let me tell you. One look at you and I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron full. So, don't try to slink away without stocking up. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. 
I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. For some reason, I like you, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear this. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things beside potions in the bottle. Okay. Empty bottles fit you in your adventure pouch. So take a look. You ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full? You can always drop items off at the item check. So what would you like to buy? Um, the red. Thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the can. He can mix you something up. No, not yet. Um, now... Master Link, this treasure chest like object is a relic of ancient time left by the goddess for a chosen hero. However, I lack any information on how it can be opened at this time. Isn't that just a Skyward Strike on the chest? Oh no, but you can't, you can't, oh, no. It's something like that, but I don't have, I can't pull out the sword here. I feel like it, there was a simple way to open it, but I don't remember. Um, before I head to the surface, I might... Anyway, I've got four hearts, that's okay. It replenished that. I was gonna say, going to bed, I think, is the... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I read about this. Okay. How to heal when there's no healing in the game? You sit down in a chair. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of sitting down in chairs. I just remember, though, that's alright. You gotta sit down in a chair. Or bed. It works, but... If I'm ever not feeling good, uh, how is it? Yeah, there. I sit down. Okay, we're ready to go. There's just one thing I gotta do now. There you go, chat. I get to do this once. <laughs> Hang on. I feel like there was a second one down here. I was going to gather two of them together, but it's not here. <laughs> now, kill it. Only when it's night time. Alright, let's go. It's enough time wasted. God. It's just... Yeah, it was just the fact that I was treating it like inverted flying. <laughs> that's all it was. Okay. Well, that's fine.
I mean, you can see what the vibes they're going for in Tears of the Kingdom. Master Link, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has been part of Sky Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Please proceed with caution, Master. Yeah, I, I kind of have to. Because no heals. Oh, careful. I'm just getting used to the combat again. It is definitely much better just slicing in the direction that I need to slice. Oh, I hit the mic. Okay, this might be a problem. <laughs> I need more of an arm range. I hope you didn't hear that. You probably did. I might cause myself some injury. That section's gonna be hard if I'm taking double damage. Have I already been playing this for two hours? I've already been playing this for two hours. What? How has that happened? <laughs> Just looked at the stream clock and said two hours. information to report. While these doors appear to have been opened recently, they are now shielded by, sealed by a powerful unidentified force. the management. This is gonna be a thing. <laughs> Just swinging to get used to doing the movements properly. Huh? 
Okay. I mean, that's. I, th I think I, I get how to do that a bit better. Again. Oops. If I remember correctly, like, this is the advice given, is just keep doing this. <laughs> Effectively, you're doing long, long range snipes to avoid taking hits. What do you eat? Uh, I usually make instant noodles. Or if I have leftovers, I do something with leftovers. But when I make instant noodles, I usually put meats and uh, vegetables in it. So it's like a pretty elaborate instant noodle. Maybe crack an egg. You'd eat nothing and go back to sleep. Young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the gods at a skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. I mean, I think at 4 a.m. I, I wouldn't want to eat, but, you know, late night snack. That's... That's what I'm getting. These sections were not fun. I have to run. I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward si Strike. I've also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Oh, dowsing. I remember dowsing. Yes, please. As you wish. Dowsing is when you detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of your sword. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. Vibration and sound. Okay. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. me centering the camera again. Okay. You need a dessert if you eat noodles. That that seems like a lot. <laughs> I you know, I've never really been one to eat dessert after a meal. Like, I just eat enough for a meal. I don't know, the concept of dessert to me seems overkill. It's very rare that I'll, like, eat a meal and then get dessert. I think for me to be able to eat again, at least an hour or two has to pass, like... I've definitely gone out with, uh... With friends and family, and, you know, we, we go eat. And then, maybe two hours later, then I can have a coffee or something. But... Yeah, just... I've only- I've done a multi-course meal once, and, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. The only time it works is if you have, uh, good portion sizes. But a lot of the time it's just not done properly, and... 
You just overeat. Used to be okay with just the noodles on anymore, doesn't fill. You need you need to put more in your noodles. Start with dessert to make sure you can fit it in. <laughs> that is a pretty galaxy brain move. Wasn't there a chest along here? No, I won't, I won't get caught up. I won't get caught up on details like that yet. You don't usually put anything in it. That's why it doesn't fill you. Bare minimum, egg. And then secondary... Shredded meat, like chicken is probably best, but you can of course do others. I mean, if you're looking for veggies to put in it, carrots like a very simple one that helps it get a bit more body. It's pretty easy to do. Or even something simple as just, like, dicing up some onions, if you like onions. Meat, on meat and onions in a noodle, it's good. It's pretty minimal effort. Oh. Ah. The traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you. Sorry, I took a drink of water. <laughs> Child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? Link. Ah, uh, good. Very good. And since you have already gained control over... The power that fills your sword when pointed skyward, the skyward strike is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. Another one that uh, a friend of mine does, it's a bit more pricey, but you know, they get uh, some some soup. So the, the type that they sell in cans or bags, right? We're not talking fancy, just supermarket pre-made soup. And then they'll cook a bunch of instant noodles and then mix it with that soup. So then you have like a nice noodle soup. And it's pretty filling. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive. All so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. The gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet, all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Lank, you are concerned for the Spirit Maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now, you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as you do. As do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You'll be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and the map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so, I will give you the power to create beacons. 
When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It'll act as your waypoint from afar. Cool. Motion controls, am I right? We Alright, it's done. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands to the outside of the temple to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Go now. You must head into Farron Woods and chase after the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. You are ready. Let you throw the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. I know all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Wait, the chest. I thought I was pointing out to that. Ah, back so soon. There's two things I was going to do. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so, you know, that was very important that I got that. Okay, we're saving. Because now, effectively, this is where the game starts. Oh yeah, the Goron. I remember you. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see how this goes. Out of the way, Scram! Are we centered? Okay, hold on. Point it at the screen. And up. Okay, we're ready. No kidding, this is this is the way it's gonna be for a while. Yeah, combat. Hang on. I have to- I have to practice. <laughs> Thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Just who are those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you all sorts of weird things going on here lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. Hey, Silver Dirt. Uh, how's it going? It's going well. Just, I've been playing through all the Zelda games, and I'm up to Skyward Sword now, so I'm playing it for the second time in hero mode, and with motion controls, so we'll see how we go. I am Gorko the Goron. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, this is, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. 
Apparently these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from this isle of the goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it. Keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly the statue is special, as is said to have the ability to activate all other statues. This whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I, for one, believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It's a real head-scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? Uh-huh. Oh! Ah, uh, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures. Alright, bud. You'd better brace yourself. I'm about to blow your mind. So get this. People actually live on this Sky Island, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than the birds down here. Up there, everyone revers the goddess. Reveres the goddess. And the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. The Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made out of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy with a plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather, oh the weather bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Mm. Amazing, right? Wrong. It is beyond amazing. You want to hear more? I think you have to exhaust his dialogue. You gonna lurk? All good, all good. Enjoy the lurk. Good luck with the study. Good to hear. I am completely obsessed with this place, but I cannot get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now, but I will need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I'll give you the latest info. So he offered to give more information, but didn't have more information. Whoa. Mm. What in the world just happened? Did you just use some kind of magic? Oh. The statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Um. Huh. Huh. Do I need to do a Scarlet Stripe for the account member? Oh, no, it's just this. Sure. Mm. Oh. What was that? Oh. The statue just reacted to you. Come on. What did you do? What did you do? Do not make me beg, guy. I have to know. I have to flip this. Okay. Yeah. I remembered this. <laughs> there we go. That's all. That's all that's for. Otherwise, I'm going to regret it later. Is there anything else here? I don't think there was. Okay. Just bugs, which I can't catch yet. All right. Now that you have access to stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain... This is... This was the, uh, yep. The paywalling of a basic feature that should have just been in the game. Quality of life behind a $20 piece of plastic. Okay. No, no thank you. It's fine when the amiibos did stuff that was inconsequential, but this was kind of annoying.
You have entered Farron Woods. <laughs> Fee is, uh, yeah, the second most intrusive assistant in the Zelda series. And this is Fee toned down. In this game, she is considered toned down. So keep that in mind. It is logical that the large plant life and water resources have attracted animals to the region. We got the probabilities. It's extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. I recommend continuing with your dousing ability. Uh huh. I mean, I was gonna go off vague memory, but sure. I'm constantly saving because, you know, hero mode could probably die at any moment. Alright, I also gotta be careful. something that I'm going to be using for combat constantly. Oh, I remember you. Huh? It's gone quiet. Kwiku. Now there's a green one. I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me. I've missed uh, Loud Link so much. Again. Saving. Yeah, look how much damage that does. And there's no way to heal now, so it's just like... This is gonna be tough. very differently. I can't believe that did two hearts of damage. Man. It's really not messing around. I hear it. these things. Yep. 
I don't remember what purpose they serve. But there's there's a lot of them. I forgot how to get this thing to uh to stop hiding from me. There's one thing I'll give the DS games. I wish I could draw on the map and just mark stuff. Which one's the map? Here. There's no there's no markers. Okay, so this is this just led back here. Should be using this more. because it was blinking like it needed help. Oh, what? Why is it saying Zelda on her? I forgot the reason for this. I mean, there's... I don't remember. <laughs> I have to leave it. And then this resolves itself later, or this is something that I need to do now. Map. Yeah, this just keeps going around in a circle, so hang on. This way. I have detected you should continue searching this for Sydney. No, but like. Okay, so I can't leave. Oh, there you go. Just stab the mushroom. Spotted me again. Huh? You don't want to eat me? And come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? I'm Machi. I'm a uh, Kikwi. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird. A little while ago, I ran into a funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was. Kukui. But she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her. But she escaped with the Kikui Elder. You love those things? They're very reminiscent of Korok. But then it, it kind of acts like a Pokemon a little bit, too. Hmm. 
The Kikwe produces false positives dowsing reaction due to previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikwe Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. I propose to continue dowsing to search for Zelda. You really spooked me. You keep some very strange company, friend. It sounds like you said I'm finding this friend than the Elder. If you're heading that way anyway, would you mind telling our Elder that I'm safe? Cheer up. I bet your friend is safe with our Elder. Yeah-ha-ha. Yeah-ha-ha. This health thing is brutal. How do you throw it? Yeah. Don't tell me it's a flick as well. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Motion controls. I'm gonna be doing this a lot because it's been powered up. So it's probably the most effective way to take out enemies right now. Elder. I'm using vague recollection to get to him. Also, does this work? Hang on. Can I hit that from here? No. I need to be standing directly in front of it. I mean, so far, I think the combat, it does make more sense with motion controls. It's still not, you know, perfect, but it... I'm having less issues doing the right movement when I was using analog sticks, so... You thought this was Wario Stream? Why would you think that? Also, hey, Steve. Hang on. Yeah, and down. Down, down, down. No clear. Okay. How's it going? It's going well. Just chilling. Don't eat me. I taste terrible. Let me go. Huh? But you don't seem like a monster. A girl with blonde hair, you say? Can't say I saw anyone like that. I was lying low this whole time. I'm um, Ulu. If you meet the Elder, tell him I'm here. I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm going to stay here a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. I'm 
him on this mission to get through all the Zelda games before the new one comes out. I'm getting there. This is, I think, the longest, second longest one I have left now. But I'm playing it on hero mode, so it's, we'll see how this goes. Have I done Phantom Hourglass? Ah, uh, yes. That's already done. Along with Spirit Tracks. When does Tears of the Kingdom come out? Uh, six weeks. Comes out in May. I think second week of May. If not third. Definitely easier. Ooh, he blocked it. I think that's the only thing that got annoying about this was like their reactions and what it tried to get you to do was a little annoying and I sometimes couldn't get it to register the correct side it's, it's a bit of that's happening now but it's still better I think Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to think of Tears of the Kingdom yet. Because they've shown off a bit of it. They showed 10 minutes of it the other the other day. And this, the new mechanics look cool. They showed off a bunch of stuff that is going to make exploration pretty fun. And a lot of stuff in the context of, I guess, what you would call the sandbox. But we don't really know what we're going to do do yet, and I'm kind of... I'm kind of paranoid that the reason they haven't shown it is because... It's going to be very similar to Breath of the Wild in terms of what you do. And I think people will be like, why wasn't this a DLC? I, I don't know, I just have the sinking feeling that the more time passes, that they haven't shown it. that uh, it's going to probably be that case. But we'll see. I hope I'm wrong. Also, this shield's durability is almost gone. <laughs> It definitely looks fun. Like, without question, I think it's gonna be a good game. It's just... Oh, shit. You just want dungeons? Yeah, that's... the thing everyone wants. I don't think it's going to feel like a new game. No, well, particularly because it's set in the same world. But that being said, some of the Sky Islands look pretty big in scope, so it might be okay. I book uh, the Kikui Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage. You're already clearly a master woodsman. I was like you. You say you've met some of my people. So Machi and Ulu are safe, eh? Oh, but there are still monsters lurking in the forest. I dare not leave this spot. And you're looking for one of your lost people as well. Mm, yes, at one point during the monster panic here, I did speak with a blonde girl of your kind. But now is not the time for such talk. The forest is full of monsters, and I am worried about my missing tribe. 
The shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. Q -Q. Two more of my tribe are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search the area for them and make sure they're safe? Okay. There is a chunky ass fat ass girl stealing your bird seed right now. I thought you were calling this thing a fat ass girl for a sec there. Learning that Zelda is no longer with the Kikui Elder is an unfortunate setback. Taking this into account, I calculate 85% probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikwis for the Elder. To expedite your search for these forest dwelling creatures, I have added Kikwis as a dowsing option. How many Zelda games are there? Psh, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I've, I've played most of them, but off the top of my head, like, I'd have to get a list. The internet has answers. No. I'm good. I'll mark any kickways you discover on your map and disable dousing readings for them right away so you don't revisit them. Okay. I mean, because they're divided into mainline, and then there's ones that aren't considered mainline. And then there's, of course, the three games that are abominations that Nintendo never acknowledges. Ever. Dad! There's Zelda games that aren't canon. Well, they're not considered mainline. So, like, uh, for example, uh, Cadence of Hyrule, whilst that involves Zelda characters, it doesn't fit into the story. Um, Hyrule Warriors, I believe, doesn't fit into the story either, but uh, the Calamity, the one that retells the, the Calamity from Breath of the Wild, that one does. Those are the two off the top of my head, but there's others. Uh, Link's crossbow training. That's another one. Yes, it's a it's a, it's a game, but it's it's not a story game. And then there's uh, the three games made for the CDI, which are not considered canon. They're considered abominations. <laughs> Nintendo never formally addresses ever in any of the timelines or, yeah, references. There's also games that never made it out of Japan. So, like, uh, for this satellite s subscription service they had. They remade uh, the original Legend of Zelda on the Super Nintendo. It's like that one's not counted either. I know this sounds silly, but I'm looking for a chair. Wand of Gamelon was meme he heaven. Yeah. Well, you know, meme haven, meme heaven, same thing. Is there a chair here? This is going to be a common theme in this playthrough. Link looks for a chair. <laughs> There's one in here. The question is how long does it take to heal? That's what I want to see. The chair was in this room here. There we go. Okay, can I have a drink of water? Okay, that's not bad. That's pretty quick. That is the only way I can heal until I get the, uh, the heart medallion thing. 
in hero mode, no hearts drop. So, yeah, fun times. And things do double damage. <laughs> Three hits and I'm dead. It's a chair of mystical healing. What were the, the CDR games? There was Wand of Gamelon, there was... Um... I forget the names of them. Must be manufactured by Akira. You heard their chairs are quite mystical. Sometimes they can be. Okay, where are we going? I just find it funny that, like, Akira's. They sell furniture, but then they're also kind of a restaurant. <laughs> as well. Like, they sell fast food. Oh, okay. I thought it was... Fine. Their Swedish meatballs are to die for. They are pretty good, but I've heard the, the real deal is just so much better. It also looks so much better. But as far as like a frozen food goes, it's, it's pretty decent. Motion controls. Okay, hang on. I need to... How the fuck does this work? Or do I have to not move? Maybe that's, that's the thing. Oh, this is annoying. It doesn't seem to be working. Or at least I'm not getting it, like... I'm tilting the Joy-Con, but it's not... It's still being weird. Wow, this is gonna, this is gonna get irritating if, it, if I don't figure out how to do it. I wish you... There was like a, a representation of my Joy-Con and what I'm doing, because I I'm tilting it exactly like it's showing. And it's it's just not balancing correctly. Dude. Okay. This is why I got tired of motion controls by the end of the Wii's life, is it was just... When you wanted the game to do something very, very simple, and then it just wasn't doing it properly, it would be so frustrating. Okay. I made a decision. I did. That's probably why. Yeah, that keeps happening. Okay, let's try it now. Nope. Okay. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it! 
I'm resting it on my palm, okay? So it's like neutral. It's in a neutral position right now, right? Nope. Okay, it reset the cursor's position. All right, so this is neutral. Okay, so I've aligned... I've aligned it. Hang on. There we go. Okay, it's centered now. Dude. If I can't get this, I won't be able to progress in the game. So frustrating. It says to to balance the right Joy-Con, and I'm doing it, but it's just. Sorry, chat. I have I have to know how to do this because there's going to be dungeons later. Okay. Now it's working, and I'm not doing anything different. Now, why is it working now? Now it's what? Now it's working. <laughs> now, now it's working. And I'm not doing anything different. Was it just a calibration thing? I don't know. Okay. Now, now it seems to be working. Fucking hell! This is making me feel like an old man. Hey, why does this technology work? Eh? Back in my day, we used to use a D-pad. If you wanted to move your character, none of this fancy movement thing. My shield is almost broken already. So I can't tell what that what that is. Uh oh. Oh, I got hit in the... Okay, cool. Oh, my shield's gone. Now I can't block against these assholes. Say what you will about Breath of the Wild's durability system. At least in Breath of the Wild, I can get another shield pretty easily. Here, to get another shield, I'm gonna have to go to the shop in the sky. And I can't just randomly find one. It's over that way, so hang on. I'm facing that way. It is this pool. There we go. I'll go back to the sky and get my shield before I have to go into the dungeon.
Yeah, it's a bit easier. Okay, I think I know where this Kikwi is. There you are. Trying to talk to you. <laughs> Is it because the monsters are still here? He's committed. <laughs> this is very cartoon character like. I wonder if there are any chairs in the dungeons. Nope. See ya. Golden Skull. Talk to you. Oh, now? <laughs> I had to destroy all the, the grass. I've been discovered, and here I thought I had a good hiding place. I'm Erla. You won't find another Kikwi in these woods. That's as half as good as hiding as I am. Except the Elder, of course. That's, uh, a lot of commitment. Okay. So let's... I mean, I would imagine over here. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I'm going to be in some trouble if there's no... heals in the dungeons. Oh, I can see it over there. All right, don't don't worry about the body glitching into the ground. That's fine. <laughs> this area commands an excellent view of your surroundings. It would be wise to utilize this vantage point to douse from nearby kickwees. Yeah, well, I already know where one of them is. Unfortunately, I can't do a, a good impression of uh, Fee. But she's effectively like Navi. Better be quicker. The thing is, I'm not sure how to get up to the spot where this one is.
Why is that battle music right now? The appreciated Navi didn't automatically start talking. Didn't that? I mean, I just remember it being annoying, but I don't remember. I mean, you're right. It did go hey. And then it was your choice. To bring it up or not. Maybe that's all there was to not making an annoying assistant. Is just not have automatic pop up. I'm getting into fights just to practice the sword a bit more. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stabbed in the back. On the bright side, I have full health. Um, hold on, let me just see what it... No, okay. So I need to get up this way. B looks like candy, so you want to eat her? It's the shader. Oh, this is so irritating. Before I enter this dungeon, I have to go get a shield. How's that sound? Alright, doesn't matter. Ah, oh, what? Maybe I should go get the shield. I can't just ignore these things. I mean, ordinarily you would, but... When one of them does two hearts worth of damage, it's... It's not pleasant. I know where the last one is, it's just... I need to get to high ground. Oh, this might be the way. Can I get rid of this stuff? Okay, I can. Sort of. <laughs> Hang on. Not yet. Because they knock you off. Still jank, but okay. 
Okay. I'm on high ground, right? Where am I? Yep, I'm on high ground. Alright, cool. This is where I was trying to get to. What flavor would Phoebe if she was candy? Yes! <laughs> Cotton candy? No, wouldn't be like a, a mix of berries, like synthetic berries, blueberry, maybe grape, or blackberry. Or maybe something like bubblegum. You fought off all those red guys, so does that mean you're a good guy? See, I've got this problem, my legs have turned to jelly, and I can't get down. Think you can help me? How do you roll? Can you roll in this? Maybe. <laughs> Pink vanilla was the original cotton candy, but today cotton candy runs the gamut of flavors. I'm sure there is. Wait. don't remember what to do here. <laughs> it's not- I thought it'd be rolling into a tree, but there's no roll command. Oh no, there is. Okay. You have to flick. Run, flick. Okay. No, you can. There's just no button for it. Yeah, yeah, you can. It's, like, it's okay, it's a gesture thing. I, I figured it out. That was effective. Thanks to you, I'm saved. Okay, my name is Lopsa. If you see the elder, can you please tell him where I am? My legs are still shaking. See, I, I see this and I'm like, this is either like a bubble gum, or it's maybe like a an artificial berry flavor. If I saw this as a uh, like a gummy. I would think, oh no, that this is a berry. Okay. Believe you're another monster. Don't scare me like that. You say rock candy? Really? I can, I can see that. I guess you, you see what you're most familiar with, because I don't really eat too much rock candy. I mean... Just a sec. Yeah. I guess, I guess the upper, I think the purple side I'm associating with gummy, but then the more I look at the blue side, it does look like a rock candy. I think that's what I'm seeing. It's definitely, I, I think it as like artificial berry, some sort of artificial berry that's in a bubblegum flavor. That's, that's what I'm thinking, with the, that color scheme and lighting and everything. You've only been thinking about eating her hair. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I thought we were talking about Fee as a whole entity, if Fee was candy.
quickly through this area. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So all my fellow kickwees are well, and they want me to stop worrying? Aha, excellent. They know you too well. You have real talent for finding whatever's missing. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have my thanks. <laughs> I feel much less worried now. I believe I just remembered where the young lady went. That young girl, Zelda. That was her name. Yes, it's all coming back to me. She said she had to travel to the temple deep within these woods. Oh, I tried to warn her about... How dangerous it was in there. But the clever little thing vaulted off my belly and ran off on her own, just the same. Look at that butt. <laughs> just definitely looks like a giant fruit. Like a pear. I think she headed down that way toward the temple. But be sure to take great care if you follow her. That area is crawling with monsters. I almost forgot. As a reward for finding all my fellow Kikwis, I will give you a precious Kikwi heirloom. Just let me fetch it for you right now. Pardon me a moment. <laughs> I forgot that's where it comes from. Ugh. And now I have to climb on his back to get it. There we go. Okay. With that slingshot, you should be able to find a path into the deep woods where that temple is. Yeah, slingshot these things. Let's try shooting that vine over there. Okay. Oh. Hang on. My bad. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Do you know what this game is miss- does- it doesn't have a mini-map, does it? That's the one thing it's missing, is just a mini-map. So here's the thing. Does... Well, mo okay. It's probably reset. There we go. Does this dungeon require... Does it require a shield? I think it might. Because if it does, I have to go back into the sky, and th that's effectively 10 minutes <laughs> I have to go by, or I can just be like, okay, let's just go without a shield. I guess I can go and see how it goes. But I got the feeling I need a shield. starting to come back to me now.
That doesn't work. This one did. Sword, please. It's great that the Skyward Strike is uh, doing a lot. I'm just making this a, a bit more tolerable. Cool, there's there's quite a bit of backtracking in this game as well. So I need to have all these areas ready to go. Oh shit. Okay. Like how how is that not allowed? But okay, this is problematic. I need to get a shield. I think that Goron might might sell me a shield. Hang on. How do I get up there? I might not be able to. This is a problem because I need to go across here and that thing's gonna shoot me. Uh right, yeah. Oh wait, this might work. This might work. Yeah, it works. Okay, there's more than one way to do it. Don't need the shield. I was worried for a sec that I would I'd have to cut back. And then travel to the sky, and then go buy the shield, and then come back. Okay. Stay stunned. Oh, come on, really? Look. 
け。お。Oh, no. No. I want my health. Oh. I was trying to roll, but you know, that works too. Pressing B to do to do flips. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now there's a face I know. Hey, bud. Hold on. I already know. I already know what we're gonna talk about. So just kick back and watch. Did you see that? The cube shot into the sky. I think it reacted to that whirly beam thing you saw, shot out of your sword. Where do you think that cube shot off to anyway? The mystery just got a whole lot more uh, mysterious. The texts say that cubes are like that one. <laughs> the texts say there are cubes like that one all over the island. This island. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find. If you find out more about them along the way, you come see me. Yeah, we'll... I thought you were going to s sell me a shield. I'm sad. Not really. I am disappointed in this result. was something here from memory. I'm not sure if I, I think I can't get it yet. But I do recall at a certain point I backtracked to this temple. Master, I have bad news. The auras of many creatures reverberate through this temple. As a result, I can't isolate Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her here. Given the situation, I suggest you look around to see where we should move next. Okay. 
All right, chat. Small intermission is required at the moment. But we will continue. I just need a couple minutes, if you don't mind. I need to quickly go put out the trash, but also I'm gonna refill my water bottle. So we're just gonna take a two to five minute intermission, get a drink or a snack or something. And I'll be back shortly. But if you're watching this later on YouTube, this is where we say bye YouTube. But hope you enjoyed and are enjoying so far. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get through this uh, hero mode thing. All right, see you next time YouTube.